Are you pretty yet? No. Oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Um, oh God, here we go again. <laughs> We are not allowed to travel, but we're still going to show you what we do when we do travel. Um, that was a really bad introduction, that's fine. I did say What hi. we carry when we travel. Yes, so let me try this Let's again. Let's start take two. <laughs> take two. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are about to go into lockdown again tonight. Yay, so excited. And obviously we can't travel, but we're still going to do a tutorial for you lucky people who can travel to show you what we carry with us and how we do shoots when we are traveling, how Peter does shoots just like in Airbnbs, I guess, with what gear he would bring with him. And he's probably got some more things to add to this that I've forgotten because introductions aren't my thing, apparently. <laughs> I'll throw apparently. It. <laughs> apparently, I'll throw it over to Peter. So she nearly got it right. <laughs> Well, we're not going to do camera gear because I just take as much shit as I can camera wise. But with uh, lighting wise, because we'd never know where we're going to stay. So we don't know if we're going to get good window light and things like that. So I travel with the B10. I have a small C stand, which I actually take apart, like undo nuts and bolts to pack it down really small. I travel with, this has been unpacked, but it packs into that. I travel with a collapsible beauty dish. I travel with, I would go with a large umbrella, but it won't fit in my suitcase because of length. So I go with a medium, medium umbrella, a deep dish with a diffuser sock on the front of it. And I travel with uh, the Paragos, which is, I used to use a roto light, but I find this thing amazing. Absolutely, and then I'm not sponsored by them or anything. This thing I can just put in a Sony battery or I can put in um, your normal AAA, so I use a Sony battery. But this gives me full RGB and it is powerful as, so I love this thing just to give a kick, if, if I need a little bit of kick of light with natural light. Um, and just my tripod and a monopod and that's, besides camera gear, that's all I travel so I can turn any Airbnb or something into a studio. So what we're gonna to do today is we've got the amazing Rara. And we're going to do, we've picked out four different looks that we're going to replicate just using this little uh, B10. So to show you that I can shoot all these looks with the B10 or close to. So it'll be, we're gonna start off with a high key with shadow on this wall is my first light. All right, so my picture, that first reference picture, so we just wanna get a nice black shadow and give it a feel of sunlight. So I need to get that light up high. I'll get it turned on. All right, so I'm gonna bring this fairly high, just gonna use the bare bulb. I think that'll do there. 100 ISO, let's just snap off a test shot. Now this is aggressive, like I'll have to work Rara. She's gonna see this picture and hate it, but I need to pose you for this. So don't worry about this, all right? Yeah. Right, so you'll see what I mean by I need to pose her for this. This light is a very harsh light and for that, you can't just do chin into camera with this. This is a what we call Vogue stuck up bitch light. So I need to actually get Rara more in that Vogue chin up attitude, nearly as if it was full sun, because you wouldn't be able to look at this if it was full sun. Okay. It'd be way too bright. We'll work on that. I'm just getting my exposure at the moment. I will work your pose once I'm happy that I've got my exposure. I don't want Rara to copy this picture at all, but I want to take the essence of this picture. So with this, I do need to come in much closer to this shot and I'm going to change my angle a little bit and then I'm going to work her pose for the light. So you're going to be that way. 
Yeah, it's got to be that cover Vogue sort of look away shot. Yeah, that's cool. If you, so you don't have to have the hand in it, but it's just that Vogue like stuck up. Look, once, now that I've got my exposure, so I'm not going to really change my exposure. I'm just going to quickly turn this to a black and white. Uh, the other picture was, was definitely a red channel, black and white. And I might run with the red channel because I want that sort of vogue stuck up feel. Um, let's see if I can pop. Maybe not. There we go, we'll contrast it. That's better. I want to try and get the blacks getting blacker. I was, I don't really want, there's no chroming, there's a little bit of chroming in the skin, not a great deal, so maybe it can just chrome the skin just a touch. I think red channel is what I'm going to work with. Let's get a shot and see how that goes. Cool. So I'm just going to, cool. So I'm still, I'm not, right this minute, I'm not trying to get the shot. I'm trying to get my lighting and exposure right. That's really cool. In fact, we nearly got the shot with that. There's a little bit too much headroom. I might need to get a touch closer. Like I don't like the lining wall. I'm going to have to Photoshop it off anyway. Another step that way. Another step. Let's just try there. And that way I might need to retouch that line in the wall. Oh, I like, I like that better. Yeah, I like, the, I like where the shadow's gone. It's, it, to, it, to me, this is too much the nose and her face is the shadow where I want this sort of blob happening. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. So now I've got my exposure set up. I've got my black and white and everything set up. I just want to now get the feeling. The only other thing that we've got on my picture here, see we've got movement. I want to get a little bit more movement into there. So I've got my favorite wind board. I, with Rara, she's not going to move much back and forward. So I'm going to take a focus on her. Cool. There, I'm cropping my picture in. Nice. That's cool. A chin, the chin does need to be a stuck up, chin up shot. And with this, I'm now going to add some emotion into this. So I haven't looked at one of those pictures, but yeah, these are feeling cool. I'm really liking. That's actually a cool row. Let's refocus one more time and then we'll just shoot off a, a batch. Cool, that's nice. Cool. Cool. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm certain we've got to have something nice in that. Cool, cool, keep moving, cool, cool, beautiful, beautiful, cool, beautiful, beautiful. I'm certain we must have something there now. Might just do one more. All right, so it is like really stretch that neck out and keep as tight to the wall as you can. That's it, that's cool, that's really cool. It's only because there's a, it's a down light on, cool. It's a down light on Rara, and as soon as she drops, it's going to bring out um, all, every single shape on her. That's better, there, there, there. It's nearly that um, thing that whenever I'm training models, they need to understand where the light's coming from and push their cheekbone to the light. That's that's better. Don't turn into it. That's be much better. Cool. Beautiful. 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 That's really nice. I think that's much nicer. Yeah, these are much nicer. See, so as soon as you roll your head yeah. this way, you're going to cast the shadows. Yeah. That's that cheekbone to the, yeah. the light. That's pretty cool. Mm. You happy we got something? Yeah. Cool. So that's the first light, and we could do this. Most houses, we're going to have a 2.4 ceiling, so the light's going to be sitting about there, which means if I bring that light in closer, the angle's going to be the same. So I could do this in any Airbnb that has a solid white wall. We will go on to 
the next look. All right, so now we're gonna, we've got this picture of Alice. This is going to be hard to replicate perfect because this was shot with a very large octa, but I'm going to get as close as I can using this octa. Um, just a trick that I got shown with these socks. If you just hang the sock on here, then open the umbrella. Here we go. Does that for you straight away. Rather than have to try and stretch it round. By me dropping this like this, I've now turned an umbrella into an octobox. The only downside with this is because this is hanging under the octobox, sometimes this gets in my shot. Um, but I can't travel with an octobox, it's just too much. From a, I have enough trouble with my baggage as it is. I'm most likely now higher than I would get in a normal person's apartment. Yeah, well that's 2.4 there. So we'd mostly just get away with 2.4 ceilings. We wouldn't get away with 2.2 ceilings or whatever that lower one is. All right, let's see what we get with this. So I'm just working my test shot. So that's getting me the quality of the light that I want. I just need a bit more power. Oh, that's really pretty. That's come up really nice. I'm just going to pull this light out just a touch further and take it a touch lower. And this is just to try and get that light a little bit less contrasty, a little bit more even. That's really pretty. I'm going to come with the light just a touch more. It's really pretty. And that's gorgeous. So once I've got this, I know I've, I've got the lighting how I want it. I just want a little bit more, I don't know, it's like Vogue, but it's not. It's not edgy, but it is. So I don't know how to instruct you. I understand. <laughs> just, <laughs> just do a few, yeah, soft attitudes. Nearly a little bit old fashioned fashion model with that little bit of Marilyn Monroe, but not pin up. Oh, that's really cool, cool, cool. That's pretty. That's really that sort of questioning eye. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. Cool, 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 cool. That's really pretty. I'm certain I got something nice in this lot. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Again, chin down, slightly chin up is always going to be nicer. And the only tiny little things I do like eye to eye. I reckon we've got the shot. Okay, I hope you enjoyed what we just did. This is pretty much you've seen what I'm traveling with. Yeah, and I better do the Beck thing, otherwise she gets really grumpy. So grumpy. So grumpy. I don't, haven't got glasses on, so I can't see if you look pretty or not. That's okay, I don't. I know they'll be really pretty light. I don't have makeup on, so it doesn't really matter. I'm oh, like... but I can fix that. <laughs> we can make you up with light. No direct no, sunlight, can't. come out of the direct sunlight. Uh, this way, out of the direct sunlight. That's it, cool. Cool, now sneak up to me nicely there. Oh, wait, I did turn my sound on, didn't I? Did you turn your sound on? Yeah, I did. That yeah, see, it's really nice light. I'll, tr I'll take your word for it. I know what you're like with your tricks. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the whole world is just waiting for you to wrap um. this up. I hope that we, we, not just me, not a selfish person, we hope that you enjoyed this episode, seeing how Peter shoots when we're traveling with the gear that he travels with. We hope that everyone else around the world enjoys leaving their houses and going out while we're trapped inside. But while we're trapped inside, we will continue to film what we can for you guys and hopefully our government lets us out soon. Fingers crossed. Six weeks. Yeah, so six weeks of me and Peter going so crazy again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Who knows what we'll come up with this time. But we will do our best to keep up with content. As always, inspire. Um, we were planning on doing Australian workshops, but now every other state has locked Victoria out. So that's kind of down the drain for another six weeks at least. Second that is organised, I will be the first to let you guys know. If you want exclusive access to that, sign up to the mailing list, join the group. I hate being a salesperson, but you guys know the drill by now. And 
If you're new here, smash that subscribe button. I'm totally oh, joking. Don't you <laughs> dare. <laughs> <laughs> and ring the bell for notifications. Ring the bell. <laughs> Go to Beck's page and ring her bell. Leave my no. bell alone. No, I'm too lazy to edit my vlogs. Anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say, but we love you guys. Thanks for the support. And as always, comments, questions, leave them below, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.